Let's move on to our final email of the day. And mm -hmm. our final email today comes to us from Trip McFarlane, who writes, Hey, John and crew. So, Captain Marvel is in theaters now and is amazing, and Shazam and Endgame are both looking awesome. If Shazam yeah. and Endgame turn out as good as they look, could this March and April be the best two months in comic book movie history with all three of these movies, movies opening at the same time. And here's the interesting thing, Trip and Greg, you missed one. Hellboy. There's a little movie called Hellboy coming too Hellboy, as well. Yeah. That, no I think, that, up. <laughs> that I think looks really good. And, and let's, let's be honest, no Hell, the Hellboy movies do not traditionally do gangbusters at the block box office. I don't expect this one will either, but it looks really good. It looks cool. It looks really so, cool. When, but when you think about that, not only are we in a year where we're getting movies like a Captain Marvel and an Avengers Endgame, a Spider-Man Far From Home, a, the, there is a 60-day window that we, comic book movie fans, who not that long ago had to wait a year just to see one comic book movie, and that yeah. wasn't all that long ago, kids. We are now in a 60-day window where we are going to get Captain Marvel... Hellboy, Shazam, and Avengers Endgame all yeah. in that same window. Now, I know, Greg, you and I haven't had a chance to talk uh, together about Shazam. The early responses to that are coming out sound amazing. I have been getting absolutely giddy for this movie. Yes. I think this is going to be a real special movie. Mm -hmm. I was excited about it ever since they announced Zach Levi. But I'll tell you what. There's a couple of big ifs in this email, but let's address them. Sure. So Captain Marvel came out. I think it's a winner. It's clearly doing great business. Oh, yeah. Audiences seem to be enjoying it. Fantastic. A cinema score. Yeah, it's going to do well. Going to do better. If. Yeah. If. And this is a big if. I know. If Shazam turns out to be at least, say, 80% as good as we think it's going to be. And then if. And again, it's a big if. It's an if built on top of an if. If. Endgame turns out to be even 80% of what we're all hoping for Endgame to be. And look, Shazam might suck. Endgame might suck. It happens. But if those turn out to be as good as they can, and then you throw that fourth player in there, if Hellboy comes in and gives us a solid movie, shit, man, I, I don't know how there's any way to say other than this 60-day window may be the best 60-day window in the history of the comic yeah. book movie genre for us comic book movie fans because I'm telling you stuff, I'm basically on the borderline of turtling a bit. I'm ready to shit myself over Shazam. I think this thing looks so freaking good. Endgame, we're all losing our mind for. Hopefully, Hellboy can deliver what we're kind of hoping for, and Shazam already hit it out of the park, or I should say Captain Marvel already hit it out of the park. So I'm willing to say at this point, Greg, myself, yeah, if these movies turn out, we're looking at the best 60 day window ever. Can you think of some others or do you think that's what we're heading into right now? I think absolutely. I would say probably 90 day window because Endgame comes out at the end of April. So if you got to imagine all of May and how that's going to be performing too for Endgame uh, throughout the box office over the next few weeks after that. But in terms of like opening weekend, oh, I'm I'm super excited because of the fact that a lot of people are not really factoring in Hellboy. I don't think it'll do anywhere near as well in box office numbers as first off, it's R rated. It's properties not as big. And there's been a mixed response with the movie uh, from the marketing, even though I think the red band trailer won over a lot more people. I, I love all the, uh, I love the idea of these four movies because they all feel so different from one another. Uh, Captain Marvel being the first MCU female led superhero film. You got Shazam, which I, I read the comic for it, the one that it's primarily based off of from Jeff Johns um, a couple of months ago, and I, I loved it. So I'm especially excited for this movie. And that kind of brings back the wonder of being a superhero. Then you got Hellboy, which is an R rated looks like a horror comedy demonic kind of film and then of course you got endgame it's, it's freaking endgame so the idea of all these different types of comic book movies as opposed it's i know some people criticize the comic book movie genre but when you look at these four films they all have a unique amount of subgenres in there which all make them seem very distinct not in, in its visual palette and its tone so i i feel like this is a, a very very exciting time and i just hope that uh you know the because we got shazam i don't really feel like hellboy will affect the box office numbers but there's going to mm -hmm. be a lot of i feel like box office numbers will ultimately be affected by the fact that 
there's a lot of overlap happening now with uh, over the next couple of weeks. But I think as box office wise, it's going to be a it's going to be a juggernaut because people have been complaining about how uh, oh, not complaining, but talking about it as compared to last year. The box office numbers have been mm. down, but they yeah. haven't been prepared for what we're getting right now with Captain Marvel, Shazam, Hellboy, and Endgame. There's a lot coming out, and I feel like it'll dominate over last year's box office. Yeah, and a lot of people forget, too, that, oh, yeah, last year, at the beginning of the year, there was this little film called Black Panther that made $1.3 billion, which we have not had until now with Captain Marvel coming out and doing a lot of repairing to the box office but that was part of it but I, I think you raise a great point Greg these are not only four films that we're all looking forward to these are four very distinct films and I think that's that's going to play a lot in this and I think you're absolutely right about that